The semi-automatic ground environment was a system of large computers and associated networking equipment that coordinated data from many radar sites and processed it to produce a single unified image of the airspace over a wide area. SAGE directed and controlled the NORAD response to a Soviet air attack, operating in this role from the late 1950s into the 1980s. Its enormous computers and huge displays remain a part of Cold War lore, and a common prop in movies such as Doctor Strange Love and Colossus. Powering SAGE were the largest computers ever built, IBM's ANFSQ-7. Each SAGE direction center contained two FSQ-7s for redundancy, filling two floors of a large cube-shaped concrete building. The upper two floors contained offices, operator stations, and a single two-story radar display visible to most of the DC's personnel. Information was fed to the DCs from a network of radar stations as well as readiness information from various defense sites. The computers, based on the raw radar data, developed tracks for the reported targets, and automatically calculated which defenses were within range. Subsets of the data were then sent to the mini-operator consoles, where the operators used light guns to select targets on screen for further information, select one of the available defenses, and issue commands to attack. These commands would then be automatically sent to the defense site by a teleprinter. Later additions to the system allowed SAGE's tracking data to be sent directly to CIM-10 Mark missiles and some of the U.S. Air Force's interceptor aircraft in flight, directly updating their autopilots to maintain an intercept course without operator intervention. Each SAGE DC also forwarded data to a combat center for supervision of the several sectors within the division. Connecting the various sites was an enormous network of telephones, modems and teleprinters. SAGE became operational in the late 1950s and early 1960s at a combined cost of billions of dollars. It was noted that the deployment cost more than the Manhattan Project, which it was, in a way, defending against. Throughout its development there were continual questions about its real ability to deal with large attacks, and several tests by Strategic Air Command bombers suggested the system was leaky. Nevertheless, SAGE was the backbone of NORAD's air defense system into the 1980s, by which time the tube-based FSQ-7s were increasingly costly to maintain and completely outdated. Today the same command and control task is carried out by microcomputers, based on the same basic underlying data. Background Computerized Command and Control for United States Air Defense was conceived in July 1945 during the Signal Corps Project 414A contracted to Bell Laboratories after employment of an American version of CDS, the British Air Defense C-2 system, had been identified for Air Defense Command and Control on June 12. The priority permanent system with the initial radar stations was completed in 1952 as a manual air defense system. The permanent system radar stations included three subsequent phases of deployments and by June 30, 1957, had 119 fixed CONUS radars, 29 gap filler low altitude radars, and 23 control centers. At the end of 1957, ADC operated 182 radar stations and 17 control centers a Euro 32, stations had been added during the last half of the year as low-altitude, unmanned gap filler radars. The total consisted of 47 gap filler stations, 75 permanent system radars, 39 semimobile radars, 19 pine tree stations, a Euro 1 La Shapira radar and a single Texas tower. On December 31, 1958, USAF ADC had 187 operational land-based radar stations. The December 1949 Air Defense Systems Engineering Committee led by Dr. George Valley had recommended computerized networking for radar stations guarding the northern air approaches to the United States. After a January 1950 meeting, Valley and J. Forrester proposed using the whirlwind eye for air defense. On August 18, 1950, when the 1954 interceptor requirements were issued, the USAF noted that manual techniques of aircraft warning and control would impose a Euro UE and Tola Arabalia Euro delays during February Euro August 1951 at the new Lincoln Laboratory. The USAF conducted Project Claude, which concluded an improved air defense system was needed. 
the summer study group of scientists in 1952 recommended computerized air direction centers a Euro to be ready by 1954. IBM's Project High assisted under their October 1952 whirlwind subcontract with Lincoln Laboratory, and a 1952 USAF Project Lincoln fuller scale study of a larger scale integrated ground control system resulted in the SAGE approval first on a trial basis in 1953. The USAF had decided by April 10, 1953, to cancel the competing ADIS, and the University of Michigan a Euro unregistered trademark S Aeronautical Research Center withdrew in the spring. ARDC planned to finalize a production contract for the Lincoln transition system. Similarly, the July 22, 1953, report by the Ball Committee identified completing the Mid Canada Line as the top priority and on a second priority basis, the Lincoln Automated System development. The two computers in each ANF SQ7 were based on the IBM 701, used an improved version of the whirlwind iMagnetic core memory. On October 28, 1953, the Air Force Council recommended 1955 funding for ADC to convert to the Lincoln automated system. The experimental SAGE subsector, located in Lexington, Massachusetts, was completed in 1955 a Euro with a prototype ANF SQ7 a Euro known as XD1. In 1955, Air Force personnel began IBM training at the Kingston, New York prototype facility, and the 4620th Air Defense Wing was established at Lincoln Laboratory. On May 3, 1956, General Partridge presented Sink Narada Euro unregistered trademark S operational concept for control of air defense weapons to the Armed Forces Policy Council, and a June 1956 symposium presentation identified advanced programming methods of SAGE code. For SAGE Consulting Western Electric and Bell Telephone Laboratories formed the Air Defense Engineering Service, which was contracted in January 1954. IBM delivered the FSQ-7 computer's prototype in June 1956, and Kingston's XD-2 with dual computers guided a Cape Canaveral Bermark to a successful aircraft intercept on August 7, 1958. Initially contracted to RCA, the ANF SQ-7 production units were started by IBM in 1958. IBM's production contract developed 56 SAGE computers for dollar a one half billion a euro CF the $2 billion WWYI Manhattan Project. General Operational Requirements 79 and 97 were the basic USAF documents guiding development and improvement of the semi-automatic ground environment. Prior to fielding the ANF SQ-7 centrals, the USAF initially deployed pre-SAGE semi-automatic intercept systems to Air Defense Direction Centers ADDCs. On April 22, 1958, NORAD approved Nike AADCPs to be collocated with the USAF manual ADDCs at Duncanville Air Force Station TX, Alav Air Force Station KS, Belevel Air Force Station IL and Osceola Air Force Station KS. Deployment, in 1957, SAGE system groundbreaking at Maxwell AFB was for DC-12 where the electronic brain began arriving in November 1958, and the first SAGE regional battle post, CC-01, began operating in Syracuse, New York in early 1959. Beaumark crew training was activated January 1, 1958 and AT&T hardened many of its switching centers, putting them in deep underground bunkers. The North American Defense Objectives Plan submitted to Canada in December 1958 scheduled five direction centers and one combat center to be complete in fiscal year 1959, 12 DCs and 3 CCs complete at the end of FY60, 19 DC-4 CCs FY61, 25-6 FY62 and 30-10 FY63. On June 30 NORAD ordered that air defense sectors were to be designated as NORAD sectors, SAGE Geographic Reorganization, the SAGE Geographic Reorganization Plan of July 25, 1958, by NORAD was to provide a means for the orderly transition and phasing from the manual to the SAGE system. The plan identified deactivation of the Eastern, Central, and Western Region Defense Forces on July 1, 1960, 
and current manual boundaries were to be moved to the new eight SAGE divisions as soon as possible. Manual divisions not to get SAGE computers were to be phased out along with their manual air defense control centers at the headquarters base, 9th, at Geiger Field a Euro 32D, Syracuse AFSA Euro 35th, Dobbins off the Euro 58th, Wright-Patterson off the Euro 85th, Andrews AFB. The 26th SAGE Division, the first of the SAGE Divisions a Euro became operational at Hancock Field on January 1, 1959 after the redesignation started for AC and W squadrons October 1. Additional sectors included the Los Angeles Air Defense Sector designated in February 1959. A June 23 JCS memorandum approved the new March 1959 reorganization plan for headquarters Noradadk. Project Wild Goose teams of Air Material Command personnel installed CA Euro 1960 The ground air transmit receive stations for the SAGE TDDL a Euro by the middle of 1960. AMC had determined that about 800,000 manhours would be required to bring the F-106 fleet to the point where it would be a valuable adjunct to the air defense system. Part of the work was accomplished by Sacramento Air Material Area. The remainder was done at ADC bases by roving AMC field assistance teams supported by ADC main attendance personnel. After a September 1959 experimental ATABE test between an abbreviated ANFSQ-7 staged at Fort Banks and the Lexington XD-1, the 1961 SAGE Missile Master Test Program conducted large-scale field testing of the ATABE mathematical model using radar tracks of actual SAC and ADC aircraft flying mock penetrations into defense sectors. Similarly conducted was the joint SAC NORAD Sky Shield 2 exercise followed by Sky Shield 3 on September 2, 1962 on July 15, 1963. ESD's CMC management office assumed responsibilities in connection with BMEWS, Spacetrack, SAGE, and BUIC. The Kidmore Building's computerized NORAD ADC Combined Operations Center in 1963 became the highest echelon of the SAGE computer network when operations moved from NDAFB's 1954 Manual Command Center to the partially underground war room. Also in 1963, Radar stations were renumbered and the vacuum tube SAGE system was completed. On June 26, 1958, a Euro the New York sector became operational, and on December 1, 1958, the Syracuse sector's DC-03 was operational construction of CFB North Bay in Canada was started in 1959 for a bunker 700 feet underground, and by 1963 the system had three combat centers. The 23 SAGE centers included one in Canada, and the SAGE control centers reached their full 22 site deployments in 1961. The completed Minute AFB blockhouse never received an ANFSQ-7. Description: The environment allowed radar station personnel to monitor the radar data and system status and to use the range height equipment to process height requests from direction center personnel. DCs received the long-range radar input from the sector's radar stations, and DC personnel monitored the radar tracks and IFF data provided by the stations, requested height finder radar data on targets, and monitored the computer's evaluation of which fighter aircraft or Bamak missile site could reach the threat first. The DC's NORAD sector commander's operational staff could designate fighter intercept of a target or using the senior director's keyed console in the weapons direction room, launch a Bomark intercept with automatic Q-7 guidance of the surface-to-air missile to a final homing dive. The NORAD Sector Direction Center also had air defense artillery director consoles, and an Army ADA battle staff officer, and the NSDC automatically communicated cross-telling of SAGE reference track data to from adjacent sectors DCs into 10 Nike Missile Master AADCPs. Forward telling automatically communicated data from multiple DCs to a three-story combat center usually at one of the sector's DCs for coordinating the air battle in the NORAD region and which forwarded data to the NORAD command center. NORAD's integration of air warning data along with space surveillance, intelligence, and other data allowed attack assessment of an air defense emergency for alerting the SAC command centers, 
the Pentagon Raven Rock NMCC ANMCC, and the public via Conrad radio stations. Sage System, the Burroughs 416 l Sage System was the Cold War network of computer sets and centrals that created the display and control environment for operation of the separate radars and to provide command guidance for ground-controlled interception by air defense aircraft in the Sage Defense System. Burroughs Corporation was the prime contractor for Sage Electronic Equipment which included 134 Burroughs ANFST-2 coordinate data transmitting sets at radar stations and other sites, the ANFSQ-7 Combat Direction Central at 24 Direction Centers, and the ANFSQ-8 Combat Control Central at 8 Combat Centers. The two computers of each ANFSQ-7 together weighing 275 short tons force used about A of the DC second floor space and at $50 per instruction had approximately 125,000 computer instruction support, in actual operational air defense mission processing. The ANFSQ-7 at Luke AFB had additional memory and was used as a computer center for all other DCs. Project 460 l was the USAF predecessor of NORAD, SAC, and other military organizations' Big L computer systems. Network Communications The SAGE network of computers connected by a digital radar relay used AT&T voice lines, microwave towers, switching centers, etc. And AT&T's main underground station was in Kansas with other bunkers in Connecticut, California. Iowa and Maryland. CDTS modems at automated radar stations transmitted range and azimuth, and the Air Movements Identification Service provided air traffic data to the SAGE system. Radar tracks by telephone calls could be entered via consoles of the fourth floor manual inputs room adjacent to the communication recording monitoring and VHF room. In 1966, SAGE communications were integrated into the AUTOVON network. SAGE sector warning networks provided the radar netting communications for each DC and eventually also allowed transfer of command guidance to autopilots of TDDL equipped interceptors for vectoring to targets via the ground to air data link subsystem and the ground air transmit receive network of radio sites for HF UHF voice and TDDL each generally co located at a CDTS site. Sage Direction Centers and Combat Centers were also nodes of NORAD's Alert Network No. 1, and SAC Emergency War Order Traffic included positive control NOAA's R constructions through northern NORAD radio sites to confirm or recall SAC bombers if SAC decided to launch the alert force before receiving an execution order from the JCS. A SAGE system ergonomic test at Luke AFB in 1964 showed conclusively that the wrong timing of human and technical operations was leading to frequent truncation of the flight path tracking system. SAGE software development was grossly underestimated The biggest mistake of the SAGE computer program was underestimating the jump from the 35,000 WWI instructions a euro to the more than 100,000 instructions on the ANFSQ-8. NORAD conducted a SAGE Missile Master Integration ECM ECCM test in 1963, and although SAGE used AMOS input of air traffic information, the 1959 plan developed by the July 1958 USAF Air Defense Systems Integration Division for SAGE Air Traffic Integration was cancelled by the DUDE. Radar stations, SAGE radar stations, including 78 DUDE line sites in December 1961, provided radar tracks to DCs and had frequency diversity radars United States Navy picket ships also provided radar tracks, and seaward radar coverage was provided. By the late 1960s EC-121 Warning Star aircraft based at Otis AFBMA and McClellan AFBCA provided radar tracks via an automatic data link to the SAGE system. Civil Aeronautics Administration radars were at some stations, and the ARSL-1 air route surveillance radar rotation rate had to be modified for SAGE, IFFSIF modes 3 and 4, interceptors, ADC aircraft such as the F-94 Starfire, F-89 Scorpion, F-101B Voodoo, and F-4 Phantom were controlled by SAGE GCI. The F-104 Starfighter was too small to be equipped with SAGE data link equipment, and used voice-commanded GCI. 
but the F-102A and F-106 Delta Dart were equipped for the automated data link. Interceptors with the ADL which reached targets were able to transmit real-time tactical friendly and enemy movements and to determine whether sector defense reinforcement was necessary. Familiarization flights allowed SAGE weapons directors to fly on two-seat interceptors to observe GCI operations. Surface-to-air missile installations for CIM-10 Bomark interceptors were displayed on SAGE consoles. Improvements Solid-state ANFST-2B and ANFYQ-47 computers replaced the ANFST-2, and sectors without ANFSQ-7 centrals requiring a weapon direction control device for USAF air defense used the solid-state ANGSG-5 CCCS instead of the ANGPA-73 recommended by ADC in June 1958. Backup interceptor control with CCCS dispersed to radar stations for survivability allowed a diminished but functional SAGE capability. In 1962, Burroughs won the contract to provide a military version of its D-825 modular data processing system for BUIC-2. BUIC-2 was first used at North to Rosette 10 in 1966, and the Hamilton AFB BUIC-2 was installed in the former MCC building when it was converted to a SAGE combat center in 1966. On June 3, 1963, the direction centers at Marysville CA, Marquette KI Sawyer AFBMI, Stewart AFBNY, and Moses Lake Washington were planned for closing and at the end of 1969, only six CONUS HDCs remained all with the vacuum tube ANFSQ-7 centrals. In 1966, NORAD Combined Operations Center operations at Kitlaw transferred to the Cheyenne Mountain Operations Center and in December 1963, the duty approved solid-state replacement of Martin ANFSG-1 centrals with the ANGSG-5 and subsequent Hughes ANTSQ-51. The 416LN program office at Hanscom Field had deployed the BUIC-3 by 1971, and the initial BUIC systems were phased out 1974-5. ADC had been renamed Aerospace Defense Command on January 15, 1968, and its general surveillance radar stations transferred to ADTAC in 1979 when the ADC Major Command was broken up, replacement and disposition. For airborne command posts, as early as 1962 the Air Force began exploring Pasiba lights for an airborne warning and control system, and the Strategic Defense Architecture planned an integrated air defense and air traffic control network. The USAF declared full operational capability of the July 1 Joint Surveillance System or OCCs on December 23, 1980, with Hughes ANFYQ-93 systems and many of the SAGE radar stations became JSS sites the North Bay ANFSQ-7 was dismantled and sent to Boston's Computer Museum. In 1996, ANFSQ-7 components were moved to Moffett Federal Airfield for storage and later moved to the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. The last ANFSQ-7 centrals were demolished at Backshaw AFB and Luke AFB. An FSQ-7 equipment was used as TV movie props. Historiography, Sage histories include a 1983 special issue of the Annals of the History of Computing, and various personal histories were published, for example, Valley in 1985 and Jacobs in 1986. In 1998, the Sage system was identified as one of four monumental projects, and a SAGE lecture presented the vintage film in your defense followed by anecdotal information from Leigh Ernest, Jim Wong, and Paul Edwards. In 2013, a copy of a 1950s cover girl image programmed for SAGE display was identified as the earliest known figurative computer art. Company histories identifying employees' roles in SAGE include the 1981 system builders, the story of SDC and the 1998 architects of information advantage. The MITRE Corporation since 1958. References. Further reading: R. G. and Knapp and E. F. Schuster. Sage Data System Considerations. A. I. E. E. Transactions, Vol. 77, PTI, 1958, pages 824 a Euro 832.